Good morning and welcome to worship on a beautiful Sunday morning. So glad that you're joining us today here on Facebook. You are invited to join us between 9.45 and 11 a.m. this morning at Trinity here for drive-through communion. Please note that you will not be allowed to get out of your vehicles for any reason. Also, please note that Katie and I will be distributing communion and we'll be fully masked, gloved, and sanitized at all times. So we do invite you to come join us between 945 and 11 for drive through communion this morning. A couple other announcements uh, for you today. Uh, this uh, Wednesday, we're going to have a Zoom check-in at 6 o'clock. Check out your Trinity Titans email that will come through uh, tomorrow for instructions on joining us on that Zoom call. Again, on Wednesday at 6 o'clock. We're also next Sunday, May 10th, also going to do Zoom Fellowship at 10 a.m. Again, look for an invitation to come through your email uh, for that. If you don't get Trinity Tidings emails, please send me an email at pastorpd at cltcomm.net so you can get on that list. If you think you're on it or you're not getting emails, uh, please check your spam or junk folders. Sometimes it goes there. Also, a reminder that uh, next week was supposed to be our directory pictures. Uh, those are not happening. They've been postponed to September. You can find the link to reschedule your directory photos in emails. You can also check that out in the good news. Our newsletter has been posted on the website, as with all of our videos and anything you need for worship, including the bulletin for this exact service, go to www.trinityvoiceworld.com to check all of that out. Now, let us prepare our hearts and minds for worship. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you, and worthily, worthily magnify your holy name, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Gracious God, have mercy on us. We confess that we have turned from you and given ourselves into the power of sin. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things we have done and things we have failed to do. Turn us again to you and uphold us by your Spirit, so that we may live and serve you in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. God, who is rich in mercy, loved us even when we were dead in sin and made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. Almighty God, strengthen you with power from the Holy Spirit, that Christ may live in your hearts through faith. Amen. We sing our first hymn, Alleluia, Jesus is Risen.
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and also, also with, with you. you. Let us pray together. O oh God, our shepherd, you know your sheep by name and lead us to safety through the valleys of death. Guide us by your voice that we may walk to the joyous feast prepared in your house. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading is the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in my paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Our second reading comes from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 19-25. But it is to your credit, if being aware of God, you endure pain while suffering unjustly. If you endure when you are beaten for doing wrong, where is the credit in that? But if you endure when you do right and suffer for it, you have God's approval. But to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example, so you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that free from sins, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. For you were going astray like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. This is the word of the Lord. Our gospel comes from the 10th chapter of John, beginning with the first verse. Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate but climbs in by another way is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them. And the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. This is the gospel of our Lord. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Amen. I can tell you one creature that does not mind all of this quarantine. And that creature is my dog, Capono. Capono is in heaven right now. The light of her life, the morning star, Amy is home all day, every day. This makes for Capono more snuggles, more time on the chair, time out on the porch, extra walks, time in the backyard, and lots of time to soak in the unconditional love of Amy. Now, it's not that Capano is sad that I'm no more, but let's just say on the totem pole of life, Amy is way up here, and Dan, that would be me, is way down here. Where Amy goes, Capano goes, and so she is in heaven. And why wouldn't she be? Amy gives her unconditional love. If Capone wants to lay somewhere and it makes Amy uncomfortable, Amy stays uncomfortable. If Capone wants to be someplace and barks, Amy goes. Me, I don't do that. So of course we want to be with one that would give us unconditional love like that. And of course, in our lives, we want that too, don't we? 
We want someone that loves us unconditionally, who sacrifices for us, who helps us. And we all have that in our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus gave us promises in our baptism that he would be with us always. And we hear in this scripture from John today that Jesus is the gate, the gate of salvation for us. And that we are welcome to come to the gate to feed on a pasture, a pasture of love and grace, forgiveness, and new life. We have this love, grace, and forgiveness, and new life through the work of Christ. As it says in 1 Peter, by Christ's wounds, we are healed. Jesus goes to the cross for our sins, so we would have new life. So not only we would have new life, so we would have abundant life. Abundant life. This abundant life is not something that we've earned, but something that is given to us by a gracious shepherd and savior. After all, Capono knows Amy's voice. When Amy calls Capono, Capono comes running. When Amy calls on her, Capono smiles and gets the snuggles and the love. Well, Christ calls us as well, and we know Jesus' voice. And we know that when we hear Jesus' voice, we can come to the gate to receive that forgiveness, that salvation that we need, that abundant life. Now right now, it might not seem like life is abundant in any regard. But take a moment, if you would, because I think that if you thought just a little bit, you might find that you have lots of moments of abundant life, even in the midst of quarantine and pandemic. Times that brought you joy and smiles. Times that you never would have had in some regards if this wasn't going on. That's a gift from God and Jesus Christ. To remind you that you have been given life and you've given it abundantly. That even in the midst of everything that's going on in life, there are still times of joy and hope, grace and mercy, love and laughter. Because that's the thing about our Savior, our Shepherd. He continually calls us to remind us of the hope and life we have in Him. And those times when we go astray, when we find ourselves on wrong paths, we hear that voice of the Shepherd again who welcomes us to the gate, who welcomes us again to feed on His grace and mercy and to receive His abundant life, an abundant life that's gifted to you every single day. There's no doubt that Capono is enjoying the unconditional love that she's receiving from Amy every single day and all day. You receive unconditional love from your Savior every day and all day. The gate is open for you. The shepherd calls you to have life, to have it abundantly. Hear that call. Remember the life that you've been given. And most especially, don't ever forget that your shepherd, your gate, your Savior, Jesus Christ, is with you always. For that we can say, thanks be to God. Amen. We are the church together, and so let us together confess our shared faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The end of each prayer petition, I will say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond with, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their need. Loving God, your Son Jesus Christ is the gate who offers us abundant life. Help us to hear his voice as our shepherd, 
and receive the grace, mercy, and salvation you offer us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, lift up all those who have been infected by coronavirus and give them strength. Watch over all our health care workers and inspire us to take the necessary steps to keep everyone safe. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, be with parents and children the school being out and in the midst of sadness, questions, and anxiety. Strengthen them in grace and hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, give comfort to all those who grieve today, whether it is the loss of a loved one, loss of a job, loss of normalcy, or any other loss they are experiencing. Be the light that shines in their lives and give them hope through the work of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we are church together even when we are not physically together. Remind us that you are active and present in our everyday lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, help us to see your blessings in ways both big and small in our lives, even in the midst of fearful times. We give thanks for those times of laughter, smiles, love, and joy we feel every day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we give you thanks for the gift of creation, for the flowers that are blooming, for the grass that is becoming green, for the warmer weather that helps us to be out in creation. Lord, we ask that you would bless our farmers as they are planting, and be with all of us, that we might care and appreciate this creation you've given us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, gracious God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and also with you. I encourage you to share peace with each other um, in the midst of our comments and worship today, or to send a text or a message to a loved one and to remind them that God's peace is with them. I also want to give thanks to all of you who continue to support Trinity's ministry through your financial gifts. You can give those gifts through the mail uh, by sending them at, to P.O. Box 247, Voice of Wisconsin 54725, or you can go to our Give Plus app, Search for Trinity Lutheran Church and uh, Voiceful, and uh, go ahead and get, or go to our website, trinityvoiceful.com, and use the form online there to continue to keep Trinity's ministry going. Thank you again for all of your gifts and support. And now let us pray together. Merciful Father, we offer with joy and thanksgiving what you have first given us, ourselves, our time, and our possessions, signs of your gracious love. Receive them for the sake of him who offered himself for us, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now hear the word of the Lord. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take meat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave them to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The body of Christ will be broken for you, the blood of Christ is poured out for you, whether you join us in drive through communion or whether at this time you are giving communion in the homes, may this sacrament of Jesus Christ give you grace and hope and strengthen you in faith. Again, we do have drive through communion beginning at 945 and right to 11 this morning.
and now receive God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We sing our closing hymn, Have No Fear, Little Flock. And again, I want to thank Katie for being here, for uh, running our cameras and singing, and Lee for playing piano for us today, and for all of you for joining us in worship. Let's sing, Have No Fear, Little Flock. Thank you.